Meet Angel Adelaja. She's an epidemiologist who left her professional career to get involved in farming to boost local food production. She and her team seek to lower the barrier to entry into agriculture for young and urban farmers by reducing sector risks through use of hydroponics and containerized vertical farming. We chose this instead of planting outside is because number one, it helps us to conserve space. So these plants, you would notice that um, one acre can usually do about 2,000 heads of lettuce. But with what we're doing here, one container, 20 foot container, which is about 14 square meters, is doing 3,000 heads of lettuce. So you take the bottom row, you now multiply it by four, and um, you get, you know, your crops. Their method uses 10 times less land, 10 times less water, and less inputs, yet guarantees 15 times higher yields. Then if you look at the crops as well, they, if I do it outside, I'm going to lose a lot of my crops because of the pests. So I'm always afraid that something's going to eat my crops. But you can see there is not one bite in these plants. She gathers the waste from her poultry house, plus half a biodegradable waste, dumps it into this compost pit, from where she draws the solution which she adds to her hydroponic system in order to grow the vegetables. They also share with other farmers to help them compete on the commercial scale in agriculture. As a young person who wants to get into agriculture, I found it very difficult to get access to land. I found it very difficult to get access to water and all the other things that I needed to do um, effective agriculture. And even then, you realize that you're not making as much, you're losing your crop. So we started with greenhouses and hydroponic systems, and then we moved, said, okay, how come we can't farm inside um, a container and retrofit it with a hydroponic system? So we just tried it. We've just kind of been kind of hacking our way through agriculture. And this innovative farming technology is resilient to climate change. It also helps to recycle these boxes and other indigenous locally found materials. It was something that was helping us to be more eco-friendly. Um, we were cautious of how much land we're using. We didn't want to go into the bush and clear land and destroy the forest. Um, we wanted to be cautious about how much water we were using. We didn't want to keep um, irrigating the soil and then it just runs off and then we have to get more water. We wanted to be able to make sure that we're increasing our yield factor. The idea behind this is bringing fresh quality produce directly to those who need them. They harvest at least 120 kilograms per harvest per month which is about 3,000 heads. So far, 88 companies buy her veggies in large quantities and some individuals other as well. Food security, poverty and migration are persistent issues in Nigeria. I grew up in the States and I had a longing for Nigeria and I really just want to improve my country and add to my country. If I could be using my brain there, I can be using my brain here. So the concept is how do we develop our own spaces? How do we make sure that our own people have jobs? We're not going to wait for government to do it. We're not going to wait for anybody to do it. We're going to do it ourselves. In February 2016, Adelaja moved to the next stage of the search. The young entrepreneur was one of the 216 applicants from Nigeria for the venture.